Okay, what we have here is a uh, iPod with a tune connected to a Commodore 64. The iPod is connected with its audio jack all the way at the back into the AV connector port of the Commodore 64. And the neat thing is that uh, pin 2 of this port is actually connected to the uh, SID chip and it's an audio in and not an output port, which is pretty neat because it means that an analog input signal, like the sound coming from the iPod, can actually go through the SID chip uh, into your Commodore and you can do all sorts of uh, fun stuff with it. More on that on uh, my blog, moss6502.com. So, now, for a quick demonstration, I've got here my iPod. I'll put on a tune. There we are. The tune is playing. And we don't hear a thing. That's because the input signal is set to zero, volume zero by default. But if we poke the entry and put, instead of a zero, crank up the volume with put the poke entry 15, there we are. And to show you that it's actually this tune which is playing, I'll just skip to the next tune. Now the cool thing is that since it's going through the C chip, we can also do some uh, pretty neat stuff like uh, getting the low pass, high pass and band pass filters onto this tune. Let me just quickly put on a small sample program. There we are, the low pass, the band pass and the high pass. And then again, full volume. Pretty cool. An iPod playing through a Commodore 64.